All right, I'm going to do a really quick short video here. Um, so Black Betty had to go under the knife today, 47 uh, Hudson. It's kind of dark out right now, but there's my girl. Uh, yeah, I had some uh, compression issues with one and six. So uh, I had to take, take the head off and see what's going on. I'm just doing a real quick video where, where I'm at right now. It's a mess. Uh, the exhaust manifold had to come off. And three of the six bolts were already broken. I went to go, you know, I sprayed them, juiced them all up to, to, to break free and went to go put a socket on and they were already busted. So that wasn't doing much work. You almost see the burnt, the burntness over there. The gasket long gone, the bolts were busted off. So it was probably leaking pretty good. Um, yeah, it's pretty cruddy in here. Uh, that water is probably just from uh, moving around the, yeah, I didn't drain all the water out of the system. So yeah, I got water in the water jackets here and got in the, in the cylinder there, but uh, you can almost see, oh, I'm sorry, it was two and six. Uh, you can almost see that these are firing and they're cleaned off and then you got burnt over here and under that water back there is burnt too when I, when I was inspecting it. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I got a valve problem. So I'm going to uh, keep working on seeing which one of these valves opens or sticks opens or closes or doesn't close and then uh, hopefully go from there. Uh, hopefully I can just lube them up, grease them up, mystery Marvel mystery oil them up, whatever and get them moving freely again and then put the whole thing back together again. Uh, my luck, that's not gonna really happen, but you know, whatever. Um, but this is what she looks like, the 212 with the head and exhaust manifold pulled off. It was a bear to get off too. I mean, uh, as you can see, these there's very deep studs most of the way. So I had to basically, and the exhaust manifold didn't have to come off technically with the bolts, but you know, with, with uh, how it was attached. But the only way for me to get up underneath the head on that side and kind of pry the head gasket loose was to have that, that exhaust manifold off and I was able to get like a putty knife up underneath there. So yeah, it was, it was a chore. It was fun. Um, actually there was rust on that valve. That's not good, but this has been sitting here for a while since I started pouring, you know, gunk down the, or spraying the bolts and stuff down to try to get it to break free for me. Um, it's been sitting here for probably a good gosh, a month now. Finally waiting for me to get to it, but Hopefully it's all it is. Hopefully just some burnt valves or some, or some stuck valves and uh, hopefully the seats are good and they're cleaned up good. But man, that, that's really smoked. That's, oof, that doesn't look good at all. Like I said, this, I don't know how many miles this motor had on it. I got it from another guy who said it ran. Uh, that, that's what I was doing okay. Um, rest of these, probably not so much. Um, didn't really know how many miles I had on it. I never took it apart. I, I know the pulling these things apart can, can be can be uh, you know detrimental to the engine because you know it's there's not a lot of parts out there to put them back together again. So I didn't want to mess with it, and it ran. Slapped it in. It's been running ever since. I probably put about I don't know thousand miles on this since I bought it, uh, and finally started having some compression issues. I was sneaking suspicion last year. I was probably down to five cylinders last year because it was. It was struggling. Oh, it's July 2nd, by the way, so you're going to hear fireworks. But, um, yeah, this is what I'm doing on my July 2nd uh, at night in the driveway. But I want to get her done. I want to try to get her to the international meet. So uh, if you guys have any suggestions, that's why I'm going to do this short video right now and then post it and then uh, start cleaning this up, see if I can't figure out what's going on. But if you guys have any suggestions, please, 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 uh, comment if you have experience doing this sort of thing. I've never had these 212 apart before. Uh, I haven't got the uh, inspection covers off. Do I even need to take the inspection covers off as long as they all moved? Um, yeah, I haven't even put a, a crank on, or a, a, a socket on the crank yet to, to, to turn it over. So I just got the head off. So yeah, you guys have some pointers, have some ideas. Please, please, please uh, let me know and I will take them to heart. Thanks. See ya.